I got a box in the mail. This is from Jibby Little in Australia. She's a roaster, Q grader, and she makes these really awesome latte art pictures. Pictures? Pictures. She makes milk jugs. And I've never seen them in person, but they have really rad colors and they have really rad little spouts. There's a bunch of different spout shapes. She said, can I send you some? And I said, yes, please. And here they are. I don't know what's in here, but I'm pretty pumped. See, we got the uh, tape branding going down. Let's uh, open these up and uh, see what we get. So the boxes look fancy, very fancy. I don't know if the ones that are in the same kind of box are all the same picture or not. I am guessing that they are because they don't say anything else. And then this just looks really fancy. So we'll open this last. Jibby jug. That's a jibby right there. Got a little thing explaining the different styles. They've all got different spout shapes different roll-offs. I was like out of doing latte art for a really long time and didn't really care so much, but I've been pretty sparked lately, so I'm really, really stoked. Everything comes with a sticker. So number one is, whoo, that's so cool. This is the 600 mil classic. This one looks like it's in copper or bronze or something. It looks awesome. It's got the little jibby logo on it. And then the spout is like this up and it notched. I've looked at her website before, but some of these are gonna be really new for me. So I don't really even know the difference. You're experiencing this with me. So this would be for like a 12 ounce kind of situation, big lattes and things like that. It's not obscenely thick, which is nice. Some of the pictures are really, really thick. And then it's hard to feel for temperature change. It takes a while to react and I don't like that. So this seems to be about right. Ooh, it's going down right now. Very excited. Let's do the other big one. 600 mil hero. This is like a pewter. Okay, check out the difference in the spout there. Even where the spout breaks away from the body is different. Inside almost looks like um, almost titanium-ish, burnt titanium. This is like shit that I wish I would have had years ago. So like I said, I don't pour latte art too much. I used to be like super, super into it and did the whole coffee fest latte art thing. I actually won one of them in Chicago in 2008, the coffee fest latte art championship there. Now people are pouring crazy stuff and it's totally different, but we used to like pinch our pitchers and like tweak the spouts and always try to find the right one. Pardon me for being a nerd right now. I'm just nerding out. Box number three. There's one color that I'm like particularly hoping for. Warrior 1 420. I love that they're individually signed. This is freaking amazing. Check that thing out. These were the ones, this spout here, that I've been the most familiar with. That I'd seen people rocking. Walt Deasy had one of these, I think. I think he was using the Warrior. Warrior to Hero. And Warrior to Classic. This thing is probably really epic for like multi-leaf pours or something a little bit more intricate. Maybe you wanna make multiple rosettas, snowflakes, crazy swans, I don't know. Seems about right. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, even the standard silver, it's like really nice finish to it. I've also not been instructed to say anything like this either. This is just a straight up gift, so I'm stoked. It's not a sponsorship, whatever. I'm just a psyched guy, you know? Oh, this is one of the colors I wanted. Warrior 2. I like how it's got a cup size range on it. So these are both warriors. Look at this finish! Boom! Damn! Look at the inside. Can you see that? I don't have a little flip out screen. I don't know what this looks like on camera, but this shit looks gangster. The Warrior 2. Warrior One, I'm not sure what the difference is, if I'm being totally honest, but I'm gonna find out. It looks like the very end of the spout might be a little different. g up. this is the OG original, 380 mil, so a little bit smaller than this. Different spout than the classic. So that's the classic, that's the original. And if I'm right on the pricing, this one is quite a bit less expensive than the other ones. The coating's pretty straightforward. The finish is quite a bit different, it's more standard. So if you compare it to like the silver finish on the Warrior 2, it's quite a bit different. And this one's got the rounded, little rounded off lip. This seems to be like a slightly upgraded version of your standard latte art picture. Cats in the box. You having a good time? You like the box? This, dude. What do you do with this? 
Musketeer. I think this is the newest one, or it's the newest one that I've seen on the gram. Newest one I've seen on the gram. Matte steel, 600 mil. At first glance, it kind of looks like the warrior spout, but it's actually a little different. The taper, the roll off is different, and the entry is different. Don't know how easy it is to tell. Silver to silver might be easier. So you can see it starts its roll off a little later. This has more of this like gradual swoop here, and this goes straight up a little bit longer and then kicks out. I don't know if I'm in focus or if the picture's in focus. So I haven't used any of these yet, but I'm super stoked on them, and I really don't know what to say. Jibby, thank you so much. I'm super grateful that you send me these. I can't wait to play with them. I'm not gonna do a review of these, a review, because honestly, they all have different function, and depending on what you want out of Fitcher, you might like one and not like the other, or you know, you kind of pick your poison or for whatever style you're pouring. I'll tell you that the fit and finish on these things is awesome. They look clean, they look well built, there's definitely attention to detail, and I like that. And if you're the kind of person that's like, dude, whatever, it's just a pitcher, you can pour latte art with whatever, like, yeah, but sometimes it's cool to have purpose-built nice things that make you feel good when you take them out. Like, tell me you're not gonna be stoked when you grab this. You're gonna be psyched. People have been sending me a lot of stuff lately, and I really, 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 really like it. I think it's really cool. For a really small point in time, I was sponsored by this little skate shop, and one of my favorite things to do was go in and pick up packages, pick up product, decks, shoes, wheels, and stuff like that. So when I get packages in the mail to this day, it kind of takes me back to that time. Even though it doesn't have anything to do with skateboarding, it still gives me that feeling and I really love it. And I also love that just people wanna share what they do and share how excited they are about certain things. But there will be no latte art pouring today. There's not gonna be any latte art. There's nothing, I'm not making any latte, no latte. It's a latte free Wednesday, I'm sorry. You want a latte, you better call somebody, you better ask somebody else, because I don't have a latte. I'm not trying to embarrass myself. I am gonna use these, and we are gonna find out which one I like the best. I already have an idea. I've got a few other things we're gonna be sharing. I got the Commandante grinders. I've been making espresso with them. I'm gonna do a wrap up on that. And I got a few other toys in the mail, so I'm just freaking psyching right now, dude. This is great. I know this is a simple video, but these are the kind of videos that I love to make. Take stuff out of the box, see what's going on, and just share a little bit of that specialty culture with whoever's on the other side of the lens because more awareness of what we do, more awareness of people doing cool things in our industry, I think that's a double win. Chibi Little, I'm gonna link her down low. Again, thank you so much for all this stuff. I'm super stoked. And stay dialed, y'all, and I will catch you on the flip side. Peace.